You doing good? Who is this? It's me. It's Jonathan. I don't know anyone by the name Jonathan. What are you talking about? Forgot your own brother's name? I don't have any brothers. What? I've cut ties with my family at home a long time ago. I don't have any family. Relax, dude. You're Kirsty, right? You and I are definitely family. No matter what you do, you can't change that fact. Okay, and what do you want from me? Well, I remembered you, and I was wondering if you were doing well. Why the hell are you asking me that out of the blue? I have nothing to talk to you about. Not a single thing. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Mom and Dad both want to see you, too. How about you come by and say hello next time? No, seriously. What are you talking about? You're way too late for that. I don't need to remind you that you chased me out of the house with everyone else, too. You didn't forget, did you? I mean, yeah, I guess that did happen. But it's a great memory now, right? I don't think you understand the meaning of great. Do you realize how much trouble I had to go through because of that? I know, I know. That must have been really tough. You don't know anything. Can you stop acting like you understand just to get brownie points? You called me a failure. You suddenly grabbed and packed some of my clothes to chase me out. I had little to no income and I was forced out of my house. I couldn't live alone yet, so I lived in my workplace. I was literally underaged. Do you understand what I'm saying? I totally do get it. But I thought that doing that to you was the best thing I could do for you. What? You thought that the best thing you could do was to throw out an 18-year-old girl with no job? If we didn't do that to you, you never would have been independent. And that's why I talked to Dad and decided to do that with him. Also, all of the money I had saved up. You used it all without asking me about it at all. I had to start a new life with no actual funds. Starting from zero is better. It's like it's a completely new life, you know? What the hell are you talking about? You and Dad are the exact same. You think that just because you're super elite, that the things I do aren't worth anything at all. You called it trash. You even burned everything that I had written down, didn't you? I just wanted you to rethink your decisions. I knew that you failed college and you were just stuck inside after that. I didn't want to just let you stay inside and rot away. I didn't get accepted into college because I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go to a college that I wasn't interested in. I just took the entrance exam because of Dad's status. You really should stop acting tough. Just come back home already. I've already thought about it twice. I want to start accepting the things that you're doing. Wow, thank you so much, Your Highness. I have no intention to ever return. I also have zero intention of ever talking to you or my family. What the hell? You think you can act all tough just because I'm over here being humble? Just come home, damn it! You literally made me broke! You chased me out of my own home. And no matter how much I was struggling, you never offered to help at all. All of you literally ignored me for five long, dreadful years. You're not family anymore. You're nothing more than strangers. You're worse than strangers. I'm sorry about that. I told you. Dad feels the same way as I do. Let's just talk a little. About what? What do you mean about what? About us as a family. Family? I just told you. We're not family. I know exactly why you decided to reach out to me, too. Huh? It's because my novel won several big awards and I'm making a name for myself. And it's going to be made into a real movie. That's why, right? Well, really? Congratulations on that. Look at you, pretending not to know. <laughs> I'm sure you saw it on the news this morning, right? 
I mean, did you see the news? You never reported back to us about anything. I didn't know at all. Seriously, congratulations. Shut the hell up. You realize now all the things that you all called trash and useless? Well, apparently society really loves that trash. I didn't realize that you had that kind of talent. Didn't realize or just wasn't interested at all? You and Dad were both only interested in your own work. Mom was just the stereotypical shut up and make me a sandwich type woman. She had zero interest in my happiness. But none of that matters anymore. I actually feel much better. So bye. Hang on just a sec. How about we just celebrate your award, huh? You just come back home once. Is that clear? How about this weekend? I'm sorry, I'm busy this weekend. I won't be able to go. And what about next week? I'm actually going to be busy every weekend for the rest of my life, so I don't ever want to see you again. Why the hell not? How about just being honest with everyone? What? What are you talking about? The real reason that you reached out to me today, to the younger sister that you had never reached out to for five long years, there has to be some kind of reason that you're contacting me, right? What are you talking about? I really just wanted to celebrate your awards. Really? Okay, thanks. That's it. Bye. Okay, fine. I'm in a bit of a pickle. I need your help. Is it money? Yeah, it is. Dad's company is in danger. And? I'm the vice president of the company. I'm running the company with Dad, but... The company isn't doing well right now. It's just not working out for us. You won an award, though. I'm sure if your novel is going to be made into a movie, you must have had quite a bit of money, right? You loan us a little bit, please. That's the real reason you contacted me. I knew it this whole time. I'm begging you. We're family, right? Why are you in that situation right now? It's not my fault at all. I'm sure the second you started actually having important decision-making powers in the company, things started failing, right? I knew that it wouldn't succeed with you running it. <laughs> it's true that all this happened after I started running things. It wasn't my fault, though. It's because the clients that I work with are all full of idiots. They started ruining my reputation. Yeah, the company probably isn't doing well because you're only ever thinking about yourself and not others, right? What? That's why you kept losing your trust. I'm sure big-time clients must have ran away from you, right? I knew that you had no talent or skill in running a business at all. <laughs> Shut the hell up! Don't act like you know anything! What the hell do you know about any of this? I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't even want to know or begin to understand what someone like you thinks of everyone else. I never want to understand what that's like. I also knew something, to be honest with you. Huh? The real reason that I was chased out? It wasn't because of Dad and what he thought about me. It was all because of you, right? What are you talking about? Well, a year after I was ruthlessly thrown out into the world with nothing to my name, Mom contacted me. She apologized profusely to me. She said that you convinced Dad and that you wanted to help chase me out of my own home. She even said that maybe you just wanted all of Dad's inheritance to yourself. Of course, I didn't think about that at all. I mean, I know it's a little too late and all, but... Now that I think about it, that makes complete sense. But don't worry about it. I don't care about Dad's inheritance. I'm sure his company is going to go under because of your undoing. <laughs> Shut up! Just give me the money! If I can't get over this situation, I can still make a recovery. I'll just cut back on all the newer employees, all of them. Then I don't have to worry about paying them and everything is fine. Who would want someone with that kind of logic as your own boss? <laughs> I don't have any intention of loaning you any money. I don't have any intention of meeting you either. Also, have you even read my novel? No, I haven't, but... I just saw it on the news. I knew it. You never would have contacted me if you had read it at all. 
What are you talking about? Well, the novel actually has everything that you've done to me up until this point. It's literally all written right there. <laughs> it starts from when we were kids, too, and how you bullied me. It's fiction anyway. No one would know that it was me. Did you actually watch the news? I literally told them your real name in the interview. What? You might be a popular man for some interesting magazines. <laughs> I'm sure they're all looking you up as we speak. The movie is going to be released next year, so it's still a little ways away, but... I hope your company is still around until then. <laughs> what? What the hell are you talking about? You made it so that they could figure out who I am or where I work? I don't know anything. <laughs> Stop messing around with me, you shithead! The company is already in a world of trouble. Why would you try to make the owner look bad? And you call me your family member? You don't feel bad for dad at all? Why the hell would I? It doesn't matter. He threw me out all the same, even if it was your idea to begin with. If you're interested in the content, though, maybe you should try to give it a shot. Thank you for your patronage. <laughs> In Christie's novel, there were a lot of articles about her childhood, how Jonathan had bullied her when she was young in several traumatizing events. By the end of the week after the interview, a lot of paparazzi magazines had figured out the connection between the two of them. Jonathan's public image was completely destroyed, and as a direct result, his company was failing. Her parents would go on to read the novel. They were furious about what their own son did to their daughter. After firing Jonathan from the company, they chased him out of the house as well. Christy had no intention of ever forgiving her parents, however. She didn't go back to their house. But she did promise to invite them to the movie's premiere. Jonathan, on the other hand, had no job or place to live. He looked for a place of work nearby, but... Since most of the people knew about her novel and the contents, no one wanted to hire him to work for them.